So I've got a bit of a comparison for you today. So we're using the player's distance iron. So we're going to be looking, looking at the uh, Strixon ZX5, Tele P790 and the Titleist T200. So these are all, you know, the, the Strixon's been you know, very successful through a few models uh, and certainly been for us one of the, the leaders in this category. And we've got the, the latest P790 and the T200, which have just launched in the last few months. So what we really want to do is look at you know, where are where are the differences between them? Again, between each model, what do each of them do differently to separate themselves from a performance point of view between, you know, when you're looking at this sort of, you know, what a, a player's model, but something with a little bit of build, little bit of ball speed, a little bit of forgiveness. Each of these offers that, but how do you differentiate between them? So gonna start with a 790. We've got a, a couple of shots, just a bit of a backup of data so that rather than hitting loads of shots here, we can get a few shots with each and then go into the data and describe them. Um, so updated P790, there's a slightly, you know, slight change on the internal side of things with weight positioning this series. They've been a very successful head over the years, you know, great for distance, but actually within really quite a compact frame. So I'll get a couple of shots with this uh, and uh, look at where the data is here. But it's, it's something that's always been surprisingly quite a neat shaped head based on the kind of golfer that plays it quite a lot. So, you know, it's a, a lot of performance packed in a small frame, this. You know, certainly from a you know, hitting experience point of view, it's quite, a, it's quite a hard sounding head compared to some of the more traditional forged models. Um, so a little bit more of a click, but really sounds fast off the face, which has been where some of the, uh, some of the, the kind of success of the model has been. Yeah, very stable, very stable head, really feel like the ball comes off the face with a bit of heat. Let's see one more there. So plenty of ball speed on those three quite nice swings. Um, so you know, one of the things that this is always going to do, any of these three have got thinner faces, partly for ball speed, but partly for perimeter weight. They've all got you know, heavier weights and tungsten down the bottom of the head, uh, various materials. Uh, within the structure to place the weight in positions which helps, principle helps with a bit of launch um, and helps with a bit of ball speed and forgiveness as well. So it's part of the reason why some of the heads now are lower lofts and you still get some launch than they have in the past because of that weight in the sole. So I'm gonna switch out to the switch on the ZX5. So actually from a material point of view the frame of the head is a softer material so in the 790 you've got a cast frame so really you know, from a speed ball speed point of view the, the stiffer the chassis of the head uh, the more you can use the face to deflect the energy back into the ball and create ball speed so you know that's where you know, for example you know tailor made you know, titleist with the 200 and the 790 p790 tailor made have got a, a a harder cast frame which is more rigid and then a forged face which they can do a little bit more of the materials to get a bit more flexion uh, and create a, a stronger ball speed out of. So notably a softer sound, that's one thing you're going to notice straight away out of the Strixon head. So this is the one of the three that doesn't have almost of a hollow bodied structure to it. So you know, the TaylorMade has got the you know, the speed foam on the inside. You know, Tylist have got the, the very light backing, but then a support behind the face. Uh, Strixon have got, still got the you know, slightly thinner face to it and a bit of a mass in the back, but that really places the weight low rather than to the back of the head. Slight pull, but one of the things that uh, also differentiates the Strixon head is the sole shape. So I'm gonna quickly show this to camera. That graduated sole angled sole you can see the peak of it there if I hold that upright there hopefully be able to see the angle front to back and that's all to do with turf interaction you know that slightly angled leading edge definitely on softer turf but anyone who gets a little bit of shaft lean just helps to lift the leading edge from the turf to stop it catching so that's been very successful for them over the last few models and something they've retained through all of those series Again, very stable, solid club head onto that. Um, you know, really, it's been an underrated head for a number of years, and I think now they're 
they're really getting the recognition they deserve for the ZX series. But you know, certainly that softer sound and feel out of it. And then we're going to go to the T200. So we'll go back over the data very shortly once we've hit a couple with this. And bear in mind, these are all structurally in design and you know, player orientation. They're designed towards a very, very similar head. So we're not expecting to see vast differences between them, but really comparing you know, one you know, leader in this category over the years and then two of the latest models in comparison to see where they sit. You know, certainly, you know, from a visual point of view, you know, Titleist have a, a slightly more angled top edge that makes it look thinner, um, even though the head size is very much the same. You know, Strix and have flattened the top edge to show all of it. I actually say the TaylorMade is actually the smallest of all of the heads, all of the three models here. So back to that little bit of a harder sound off of the Titleist, which again is that cast frame, that... Um, that backing, that material in the back that the sound just echoes off. They've certainly made that, made an improvement from the previous model with that. But um, you know, I think you know, quite a lot of performance off of this head, which Titleist haven't really been known for in the past. I think something that their, their entire range this year, you know, Woods and Irons, is very strong overall. Pretty solid hit. Do one more there. Got under that a little bit more, but you know, all really very solid, very stable heads. So I think you're know, out of all three of the club heads that we just hit there. You know, there are a lot of very, very strong performance elements out of each of them, um, and you're certainly looking for a bit of forgiveness. You know, the T200 in particular, I think for a you know, Titleist have always been historically you know, better players. Um, brand, but actually the last two or three models have progressively got better and better and better across the face. And that was really noticeably you know, right up there, if not maybe slightly more stable than the Strix on the TaylorMade. I mean, to, so a case in point with that one, I'll show these to camera, is, I can separate them slightly, is to see, you know, the, oh I need to do this the other way around for reflection. is actually the tailor-made in the middle is the narrowest head of all three. So actually from a profile point of view, you know, whereas the 790 has always been seen to be a very forgiving club head and a real kind of a Verticom's game improvement club, it's actually from a scale of head point of view, the smallest of each of these. I think that's quite surprising that in some respects that hasn't developed over the years because now there's quite a jump from that model to the stealth um, series of iron heads. So, you know, there is potentially an opportunity for them to create a more forgiving 790 um, just to stretch that out and give it a little bit more margin of error. Um, but bear in mind, it is still the P series, it's still the player series. So it still stayed very true to that head shape. Uh, and then the differentiator, you know, you know Titleist have used um, the guys at Vokey to help with some of the sole progression and, and Strixon have got that angled sole to help with turf interaction. So real focus on turf interaction from each of these two. So, Going into the data here, um, ball speed wise, I mean, it's less than a mile an hour between them, um, or a mile an hour between them, top to bottom. So, all very, very strong from a performance point of view. And what I would expect to see, and actually, it's slightly narrower margin than when we've tested previously, but the Srixons are a slightly higher launching head. So, that's one of the strengths of the Srixon heads over the years has been that little bit extra launch without flaring the spin up. So, actually, spin wise, the Taylor made and the Strixon are almost identical for backspin, but there's a half a degree. Uh, historically, we've seen a little bit more than this, more towards a degree, but a half a degree of launch between those two. The Titleist is the one that stands out more from a flight point of view because actually the spin's higher. So you're seeing spin of 4,900 4, versus 4,680, 4,660 with the other two, but with a lower launch. So the launch angle's a degree lower but retain more spin. So the spin retention, again, is something that's Titleist have really focused on with this series, particularly in the 200 and the 350 heads. But for me, there's one, one and a half yards, just under one and a half yards top to bottom in terms of distance, carry distance average between the three heads. Now they are the same loft, the same lie, the same swing weight, the same shaft. So there shouldn't be big variables. And, but what we can see is we can get to the same 
relative same outcome for someone at my ball speed with three different launch and spin parameters. Where that, that, um, that flight and the carry distance progression is going to change is at lower speed. So if you're not an 88, 89 mile an hour club speed player, which most players aren't, that's then where the spin or the launch angle um, differentiation, so the tightest being higher spin or the strict on being a higher launch, one of those may well give you much more an advantage based on your launch and spin profile at a lower speed because it's going to proportionally make more of a difference. So the importance of creating launch angle, creating spin, has a much bigger effect at a lower club speed level. So that's certainly something to look out for. But you know, what's yeah, we can see they're all using the same design principles and CAD design programs to work out the best way of developing these golf clubs, and they are very similar, albeit. You know, a little bit of forgiveness, I think the 790s are hair less forgiving the other two. Visuals, which are key, but the sound and the feel aspects are also really quite different. So the structure of the head gives you the feel, um, the, the softness, the kind of the forged, and forged versus cast, but also you know, in the back what the brands are doing with the, the materials that are used for the back sections or a tightest still got a, a polymer that links the back plate to the face. That's to try to dampen that sound down and keep a, a softer feel. Um, you know, overall, lots of very good product out there this year. I think you know, the major thing for me is lower launch, higher spin out of the tight list, highest launch without the spin flaring out the Strix on, and the 790 sits right there in the middle. So you know, three really good products, um, some marginal differentiation in performance. Um, so other players will see bigger differences than I might here as well. Um, they can see input-wise angle of attack slightly steeper on the Strix on the, uh, than the title is head. But again, paths and face to paths, very similar. You know, land angle, the, uh, the Strix on head, if I scroll that face across, screen across, sorry. Um, Strix on's up a degree, hum, degree steeper land angle than the title list, uh, than the, uh, the Tony Wade sits literally slap bang in the middle. So you can, with some of these different models, create different launch and different spin profiles to suit a player's dynamics. Uh, and uh, and you, here's an example of three heads that up all right up at the top end of their game and all here to test. So you know, make sure you find the right one. It suits your game and the feel and the acoustics and the look so you can get the best out of your game on the course.